People now know what this noise is. They do, yeah, and they can also see that I'm not ad living this. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was getting away with that. Are we, are we go? Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Um, okay. So, uh, welcome to the fourth in a series of podcasts for all things car of the movie. The first being videoed in the studio, which sort of spoils one of my later jokes. But anyway, there we go. Um, all right. So it's been a while, um, but we've not been slacking off. I'll explain why I haven't been slacking off, but Bill, you've been to Le Mans, haven't you? Yeah. What, what was that like? Yeah, it's good fun. Was it? Good what, fun. What, Especially... what does that entail, apart from just watching? You can't watch cars for 24 hours, can you, surely? Oh, yeah. Oh, you can? Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, you can. <laughs> now, there's, there's a bit of drinking, a bit of eating, um, but there's like, you know, there's 15 of us, you know, ish. Oh, okay. that go. But took my son for the first time, so it's his... First Le Mans, right? And yeah, he absolutely loved it because he doesn't he do hooked, is it? He doesn't do football or right. sport generally. He does motor racing. So you know, fourteen went to Le Mans, had a brilliant time. It's a pretty sort of porno star start to motorsport, though. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that's the one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You know, really. Yeah. It's like everything the Tour else, de France in Mont yeah. Two. You know, everything like, else is, is going to seem to be sort of like, oh, is that it? Yeah, in comparison. <laughs> do you know. What I mean? <laughs> you done it, you know. We we went. We started watching motor racing. We ate. We yeah. went to bed. The motor racing was still happening when you wake <laughs> up in the morning. It just goes on and yeah. on and on. Yeah, it's brilliant. Okay. It's brilliant. I mean, yeah. And he thoroughly enjoyed it. And so did I. Yeah. So oh, good. Ninth for me. First for him. Yeah. And yeah, oh. a good time. Yeah, cool. Cool. Yeah. No. And and I have to presume this attire is from the. On the weekend, is it? Yeah, oh yeah, no. I came away with a 60 euro shirt. Yeah. As you do. As you do. Well, why not? Well, I, on the other hand, have been very studious, so uh, I've been working on everything with the film. <laughs> Uh, well, you've been yeah. dotting around yeah, in the well, field watching cars. Are you sure you haven't been interviewing people in the pub? Uh, well, yeah, I have. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's basically the long and short of all of it. <laughs> I haven't been able to get the other ones in there yet, so but but yeah, no, so no, we've got a few more people on board, so it's, cool. uh, it's good. I better give them a bit of a name check. So uh, we've got an art director in the shape of a guy called Matt Camfield. Um, an AD1, which is an assistant director oh. in the business town. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. And uh, with an amazing name of Borchi, uh, I'm going to try and say her surname so I can't quite pronounce it. So it's Silazassi, I think. So it's Borchi Silazassi. And a stills photographer who's going to sort of uh, record the whole thing for posterity in uh, Tiffany Ratcliffe. So it's been, it's been good. I've managed to get an executive producer who was going to take up a producer role, but um, other things have got in the way. So uh, she's now, I've persuaded her to take an executive <laughs> producer role because she knows how to get the money in. Uh, and she wanted to be involved. And she said, well, I can still do that. It's like, brilliant. Right, then if, you, if you're keen to do that, then great. So, And her name is Holly Willis. Yes, it's Holly Willis. Look at that. The other <laughs> so it's been good. It's been, um, it's been productive in a... Yeah, in a way, and I'll, I mean, I'll talk, talk some more about them in, in the next, in a couple of next podcasts. But I mean, the guy Matt has just got a second place. I can't think of the name of the film uh, competition he was in TV. He's just got a second place for that for a, um, a short sort of uh, horror type. Or it's, it, it's in that genre, that area. What they do is they give you a day to write, edit, film, whatever, produce the whole thing, and get it sent back to these guys. Um, and he's he got second place this year, so. That was quite cool to have got him on board and then he's got to run himself some sort of award. It's sort all of like, OK. So no one can go, oh, Dan's just getting anyone on board. Got winners. You're actually networking. Yeah, got you winners know, on board. <laughs> This is it. Someone in the team's a winner. That is definitely not me. So, yeah, so that... Um, yeah, so it's all, been, it's all been quite good on that on that front. And I've been trying to get... Um, 
the i the podcast on iTunes. You've been struggling with that, haven't you? Yeah, really badly. <laughs> <laughs> to, to the point of just, oh, fuck. I just, you know, it's one of those things because you're trying to load it from a website to put it onto iTunes. And all it, all it, the only issue with the whole thing is the um, the logo that would go with it. So the website provides you with the pictures of flowers and nonsense like this. So I put down the got the the graphics guy to give us a, a miniature version of the poster and all this that fits their size, but their size doesn't fit the size that iTunes is. But it only tells you that when you've uploaded the whole thing, sent it to iTunes, and then it sends you back a message that says, there's something wrong with your yeah, upload. Yeah. Not telling you what it is. Incorrect format. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you yeah. say, I've just done what you yeah. asked me to do. Just, so, <laughs> yeah, go and have a look on Google, yeah. work out what you've done wrong. Trust me, there's no way to find out. I've yeah. tried. If you're an idiot like me, there's no way to find out. I mean, I can't read. You know, that's been <laughs> knackered from, <laughs> from the start. Yeah, so I don't know. So I'm, so Aaron West, uh, the sound guy, is going to pitch in, I think, and, and help out with it because I just can't do it. You've had enough. <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I just can't do it. You know, so many tears have been shed. It's been terrible. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so so hopefully... Things are emotional, but iTunes will happen eventually. It eventually will be on there. Right. And then some poor soul can spend 30p or whatever it is to listen to this. Yeah. You know, better. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so I was going to say, just to go back, I was going to try and drop a joke in, but now we've got the camera it, it or the you know the ipad or whatever it is but it's it's probably not the same but because i was going to say le mans because <laughs> that's the only thing i remember about it you don't remember no. excellent so the joke does work no steve mcqueen in le mans oh ah, yeah, yeah absolutely yes but i was gonna i thought oh well we haven't got a camera so you won't be able to see me doing it anyway so i'm just gonna be going like that to you now um as i've mentioned aaron uh I think this is a particularly good segue, actually. I think we're going to go to our first ever... It's almost like it was planned. I know. Well, it was, because I've written it down. Yes. <laughs> oh, shit, I've given that away. <laughs> but I've even, got, I've even got a name. Look at this. We're going to call it the Crew View Interview. Hello. That's pretty good, isn't it? I'm loving that. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. So, so, But we should get some graphics. You know, okay. Maybe we'll work on that. Graphics? Oh, my God. <laughs> Have you got somebody's name in there that's going to be doing graphics? Yeah, I'll have to find someone. Us. But, yeah, so we're going to go to... The crew view interview with Aaron West. Okay. That's that. Excellent. <laughs> we're, we're rolling now, so... Okay. Yeah, I should probably do both sleeves, shouldn't I? Huh? If I'm going to do one sleeve, I should probably do both sleeves. Yeah, you've got to have a bit of a continuity there. Yeah. Right. I just think it's flashing enough. Right. right, okay. So, I'll have to put the glasses on. Uh, hello. Uh, right, I'm here with uh, Aaron West, sound engineer for Carve, uh, excuse the glasses, uh, for our first uh, of our video interviews. I am reading this from that, uh, in case I look like an idiot, um, uh, for the podcasts. So this will be obviously linked into the radio um, podcast uh, that I do with Bill. So I don't know why I'm rambling away as much as I am, so I'm going to stop rambling and ask the first question to Aaron West, sound engineer Hello. for Carve, the movie. Right, um, do you want to give us a bit of background about your good self, Aaron? Uh, as in, t in terms of filmmaking history? Or yeah, do you want something like that? Sure. Yeah, you know. um, oh, God, okay, so yeah, I'm the sound engineer for Carve. Uh, sound is not necessarily what I began doing, but it's definitely what I do a lot now. Um, most recently I worked on the 40th anniversary short film of Alien that was released. You can watch it on IGN. Um, it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, it was, yeah, they, well they shot, they shot six of them. Yeah. Excuse this. Um, yeah. And it was the only one that was uh, Can I just, in the By the way, we were called in in the pub in uh, <laughs> Hammersmith, the Swan in Hammersmith, hence the footfall. The riffraff. Yeah, the the oi polloi. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, honestly, it, it's, it was good fun. But that, that has been really, uh, the, probably the biggest thing so far so and then this will be uh, my ego next. isn't too inflated yet no it will um, be after this film uh, well, definitely yeah, yeah. but yeah. but before then it's really been just i was the typical spielberg story of having a camera and just grabbing all my friends and filming mm. everything that i could and mm -hmm. uh, and then it sort of eventually led me to going to university which for better mm -hmm. or worse but coming out of it yeah. I've had lots of good experiences and uh, want to get involved in as much filmmaking as possible 
and uh, especially this is your first film. It is my so first film. That excites me. Yeah. yeah well, you know, my first script. Yeah. Well, it's partly your fault because you and a couple of other people, Matt Chizzy, the lighting guy, said oh, you should direct it, Dan. So if well, this goes tits, you are culpable for the uh, whole. you'll be working. <laughs> I'm sure. I know. Well, right. Okay. So, yeah, you were the first one that I, that I got on board. We were the first. Yeah. Face to face. So yeah. on. Yeah. Um, in another salubrious public house in, in that there London town. Um, we just meet up and get drunk. Exactly, <laughs> basically, yeah. I think this could be the third time, yeah. Um, so at least we're consistent. What was it, because I, all, all I did, I think I contacted you on that mandy.com yeah. and then sent you the script. So look, you know, way back if you can, what was the initial sort of thought thing that captivated you about the script and made you think, my God, I must work with this genius? of the English language. Well, oh shit, that's the mic thing on the floor. I suppose what I'm asking is, because people, people who are listening or watching yeah. now won't know the script and won't know what we're promising them. Yeah. What, it, you know, what, from, from that, but as a bit of a sell, well, no spoilers, but as a bit of a sell, what, did, what was it that got you about it that made you think, I want to get on board with this, this, no this project? As in like plot points or just the way that it's written? Because I don't know, it's up to you guys. It's, 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 yeah, because it's only short, it's difficult without it's just not have spoilers. But, but. Yeah, well, okay, so, so the thing that really, I really liked about it was the fact that um, you have a character who you really get inside the head of. Mm -hmm. Partly because there's a lot of talking, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. lots of, you know, to camera dialogue, and it, it, it's almost uh, Ferris Bueller, but with. Uh, Violence. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's probably a better way to spin that. I do love your twist on this. No, no, no. no, no, no. Everyone knows their own one, so it's good. Th there's probably a better way to spin that, so it's a nice headline. Yeah. Ferris Bueller meets something. Yeah. But I, yeah. You know, um, uh, you know, 80s slasher horror, but but it, but, it, but at the same time, it, it, it is the fact that you have that voice allows you to go deeper, and you do actually touch upon things that I think everyone feels, right. and that's actually kind of what is uh, chilling about it, but also fun um, is because we could be him right. we could you right. know we all feel I think I, I don't know anyone that doesn't really disagree with or say what you've written as well right. but the the overall sort of message the cynicism you know yeah. once you grow out of Christmas yeah you look at it in that way and I don't know it just, it just I liked it yeah it, so, it so it, I suppose not a rose tinted sort of a broken NHS glasses view <laughs> back on the on the on the on Christmas, you yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. cool. All right. That sort of you. Uh, uh, this is my questions are always so bad on these things that no, no, you've no. answered. No, you've, you've answered the, the the next one. Well, well you know, which is good. Don't yeah, get me wrong. Well, it's uh, to, to elaborate a bit more as well. Um, not that I necessarily want to get political because um, everything's political right mm, now. Mm. Um, but the fact that you have a character and a story that I think that everyone can relate to. Yeah. Is also nice because at the moment, especially, you know, you could just even mention um, someone's name mm -hmm. who's a politician. You don't mm -hmm. even have to be in support. Of them. No. But people will look at you differently. Yeah. They'll suddenly go, <gasps> yeah. we're, we're now enemies, we're polar opposites. And, yeah. and to actually, ha you know, to have someone where you go, look, we're all a bit naughty, we're all a bit this and that. And, you know, it's, mm. that's nice. That's good. I, I think, yeah, it, I mean, it, it's, not, it's not written in a, as, of a time. It's just no. obviously how I look at the world. But I see what you mean. So, yeah, it, yeah people, I suppose it's, I don't know, maybe listen to what you're saying. It's almost like a horror for the dis disenfranchised. The, 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 yeah, the, it, well, horror is for disenfranchised. You know. Well, isn't maybe, it? Uh -huh, well, expand on that. Go on, because that's how it is, I think, yeah. Well, because horror is always given the, uh, it's always labelled or tarnished with the idea that it's influencing people to do horrible things. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, but really it's just that there are certain people who enjoy that yeah, side yeah, of life yeah. and accept that that side of life exists. Yeah. That's really what it is. Um, but and rather than the, the blood and gore, yeah. you're talking about the, the psycho psychology behind it and whatever. Yeah, yeah. no, exactly. But, but, but you know, there so are people... People, people are frightened of what's in the dark even though yeah. you, you, you need to think that which I think is, oh, sorry. I need that sort of where, he, where Tony comes from it is that you know he lives where we all sort of go now and then you know yeah, definitely and, and but, but the only way I probably you, live there too often myself but, but, but you know but the only way you can really understand the dark or even learn to not be afraid of the dark is by switching the light on and have a little poke yeah, around yeah. you know Very you can't true. Yeah. If you just, you know, if yeah. frozen with fear about these things. So, um, yeah, with people, disenfranchised people, I think they're people that are turning to the dark just because there's 
there's not that voice out there for them. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, film is a great way of doing that, touching mm. those people. So. Well, I, I'm chuffed. It's nice to do it anyway. But so, so was there anything else um, about the project itself that uh, interested you and has interested you further since we since we've gone on? Because we really, it's been quite a while. We've been chugging along for about a year or so now, yeah. just trying to get everything built up and, and do it properly, rather than rush into it, get some money, yeah. and, and, and spoil it, and then have, lose what we've got. So, I mean, is there anything else that's made you think, oh, I'll get, you know, there's a bit more meat on the bones for you? Um, or? Well, I mean, just the whole idea is enough for me to keep going, but um, it, it does have like nice little things on top of it as well, you know, cherry and icing and all that. Mm. And actually, to be honest, the Christmas subject yeah. is nice. Mm. I've never done anything to do with right. Christmas. Mm. So just the, the new, the challenge of the new, um, and also the structure, because the way that you tell the story is is not necessarily conventional. Right. So th there's a challenge in that. And instantly I'm thinking, OK, there's a lot of talking. How would I make sure the sound all the way through is mm -hmm. good? Um, yeah, how's best to capture that? So, new challenge, that's, that's mm, what cool. it is. Mm. And, and again, I mean, you know, as you know, we try to do it as a communal perspective. So, I yeah. saw a perspective, a communal approach. So, everybody, if someone's got an idea, they can shout. I mean, we spoke about certain cutaway shots. I mean, I won't mention them, but certain cutaway shots, ideas of linking things in. Mm. Um, I know that Matt, the lighting uh, guy, has, has is constantly day by day thinking over the opening shot because it's a massive challenge and it was the first thing that caught him and I mentioned it in the previous uh, podcast which is soon to be released but everybody has their has something they've got their, their teeth into yeah. from it already and then that will keep going and I thought I find that really interesting how it's, it's also something that's taught a lot in Film school, things like that, is that the I think it's the primordial image, um, the the prime image, the the first and last shots right. they usually say a lot about right, the okay. film and okay. leave people with that impression. You know, yeah. when you open, uh, how are you going to interest people, and also when you close, what kind of feelings do you want them to be left with. So, yeah. I no wonder he's yeah. obsessed. Yeah, about you know, that. he is yeah. to the point of I come up with an idea and he's not. I'm on it. <laughs> it's almost <laughs> like a dog with a bone. Leave me alone. Mm. And I thought, wow, this is fantastic because yes. It's, what we've got in, people are putting in their talents and, and challenging themselves. Yeah. And I think that's the that's an area that I that yes. I like. Right. Okay. So it, uh, enough of all this frivolity. Um, you're <laughs> going to take part. You are now the victim of the first ever Dan's dialect. Love it. I was going to uh, just for anyone the listening or viewing, I was going to introduce this subject or this section, sorry, uh, to the podcast where. Uh, Bill, the producer, would uh, give me five uh, different language versions of Have a uh, Merry Bloody Christmas, which is a strap line that goes with the film car. Um, but due to my not explaining it correctly to Bill, uh, we didn't put that segment in the, the last podcast. So <laughs> yeah. Aaron is the first victim of this. So I've asked him to pronounce I'm not going to tell you, he's got to guess what language it is, and he's also got to pronounce it. I will, have a look I will, like, yeah, yeah, you can, yeah. You'll probably need my glasses, but. No, um, so yeah, yeah, have a, have a, <laughs> have a go at this. In, so the in, I'll do the in, uh, word by word okay, first, because cool. I am going to butcher this, right. So, and by the way, you have got a, uh, a West Country twang to your voice, is that do right? I? Yeah, yeah, no, but so that, well, I thought that would add a little bit of certain free to it. <laughs> I, d I didn't really realise I had, but maybe, yeah. Um, I've had a lot of uh, influences, <laughs> I guess, growing up. Um, so the first word, hengboken. Okay. I don't know how this is supposed to sound, by the way. There's no, you're not being, you know. <laughs> hengboken, I mean, that sounds... I, 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 honestly, I'm just looking at the, 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 yeah. the, the letters. Phonetics of the whole yeah. thing, yeah. That feels slightly German, not gonna lie. Okay. But I suppose if you put an accent on, which I'm not going to do, no, don't um, do it could also be I don't know, you Good could old hear English that. Like do, it. But you could hear you could hear that also being said in like an anime somewhere. Okay. Like in Japanese. Oh, right. don't, you know, especially this next bit, yeah. which is like like Kurosumasu. Right. Go on then. Go, give it give it a go in, in one hit. Well, I said the last bit as well. Um, th this one threw me up, uh, threw me off because it's uh, Decipsio, which okay. almost sounds 
Latin, like Italian. Okay. You know, oh okay. God, it didn't well, make sense. Well, no, maybe that, maybe that comes from the word Christmas. Maybe that's the link. Okay. Yeah, I think you'll be, I think, you, yeah, anyway, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, go on. So, well, give, the, the, give the, us a go. Okay. Give us a go. Hangboken Christmas to I can't do it. Well, do you know where he said it's right? It's Christmas suit is right. It is. It's Korean, funny enough. Korean. It's Korean. Yeah. So there is that which, Asian which thing. Was when you, <laughs> you know, went into Google and oh, let's try that. So it's Merry Christmas. It, it, you can't get Merry Bloody Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. It is Merry Christmas in Korean, but of course it's symbols, the language. <laughs> They're yeah, not yeah, to yeah. translate so the symbols. I'll, I'll give him that. He's not going to. Yeah. Anyway. Well, it would also be, it would narrow the guesses down. Yeah, true, yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> can't, I can't I, read, it's got to be Japanese or something like that, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. The, so. the, the H-A-E-N-G, Heng, is very Asian. Yeah, yeah. So, so but, there you go, so you're on a, I, you're, I, yeah, I you would try, try, you want to say it again properly? Yeah, go on, so go on. on. Okay. Heng Boken, Christmas suit, just be see. That's pretty good, you went Italian, but I think, I don't know, I don't know anyone Korean who has walked around my house and said, this is how it's supposed to sound. Yeah, of course. Right, so on the, on the final, uh, <laughs> final question then, um, I might try and hunt someone down. It would be amazing to hear him say it. Um, if you could look into a crystal ball, this is a terrible question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Where, yeah. What would you hope for, for Carve? And, and, well, no, yeah, what would you, what would you hope for? Uh, well, I want it to be made. I mm -hmm. would like lots of people to see it. Yeah. I would definitely like a screening of some sort, I think, um, and a celebration at the end. I mean, and obviously I think to get as many people interested, involved, and to spread it around, that, that that's what I want. I it. think it's, it's a f success, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I don't know. And obviously we all want that. But, uh, yeah. Uh, it's funny how everyone involved has chosen the harder path for this because the festival route is the hardest path. Yes. Every man jack involved has said festival because yeah. I want to see it on a screen. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's brilliant because we could easily pump it out on YouTube. Yeah. And it, you know, it would, it, it, you, you could, you could garner interest by bombarding people and so on. But I really, that's every person from the cast, the crew, yeah. I want to see it on the screen. No matter, even if it's something that we organise, we put it up. But a festival route is the hardest thing because you have to bombard and try and get in. And yeah. I think that's, but I think it's really brave. I'm really chuffed that everyone's done that. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's important as well to really kind of close a project as well. But I mean, I've had experiences in the past. So a piss up, in other words. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly, the after party. But I've had, <laughs> I've had the experience in the past where people have shown interest in making a film or a short film or whatever it is, music video, could be anything. And very much so when it comes to preparation, they take a massive step back. Sometimes even during production, mm. they're not as with it as they were when you first approached them. I honestly hope that those people have learned that if they're not really into something, they just shouldn't volunteer yeah, yeah, yeah. themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but what happens is then maybe there are complications, maybe there's stresses on the day of the shoot, which also I hope doesn't happen here. No, no, no. There will be individual issues, I'm sure, but not with people. Um, but then they always love the screening. And yeah. I always think that if they just have that in mind from the very beginning, you know, yeah. If you, even if that's the part you enjoy, just work your ass off so that you'll be proud to watch you it get back. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Um, because this is how it works. This is the, the film industry. You, you've got to show it to people. You want to oh, audience. Yeah, yeah, right. So. Well, we will show you. Anyway, right. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Ian. Thank Hannah. you. It's been a, a two wine pleasure. Thank you.